Hey everyone, Stephanie here, coffee drinker, book lover, and reviewer of many things, and today I have some activities for you. So, the first one I want to talk about is this, I'm going to put it over here, I think, um, it's, you hatch a unicorn out of a stump and they have other ones i think there's like a panda one and like a yeti and i think there was um a dog or something um if i can find it i will leave links for them in the description um but we got the unicorn one and so it's like this big okay like that big oh it's about the size of my you know, middle of my face, and um, you put it in water and you leave it. And it said that it should hatch within 12 to 24 hours, but it definitely took a lot longer than that. And um, we made a game of it. Every, like, few hours we would go in and see if the, the unicorn was out yet, if it was still, if it still had shell attached. And, um... After about five days, four days, I may have helped it a little bit. <laughs> My kids right here. <laughs> it it's it had cr like it, it, its head was popped out, and it was still like the the part that goes around the body, like was still kind of stuck together, but there was a crack, and I was just like... And my husband said that he he helped it a little bit, too, and then I was like... I just popped it out, because I was tired of waiting. <laughs> I was tired of waiting. Um, so I'll, I'm putting pictures up here so you could see how um, things progressed. And... Um, their label by date and it is now bigger than my hand it is still in the water and it's been uh, a long time Let's see we put it in there on the fourth and it's the 18th I think it's done growing to be honest but my kid won't let me touch it she says, no, no, mom, leave it there. It's going to grow. <laughs> so now we just have a unicorn in water and I change out the water every few days because it gets a little slimy. Um, or a gnat, a gnat will land in it. Um, yeah, there, it's cool. It's fun to watch. I had gotten them because I was like, oh, this will be something quick and fun for us to do for 4th of July with, you know, my nephews. And then um, I got there and I was like, hey, guys, look what I got. And then I was reading the instructions. And I was like, oh, you're going to have to take these home. <laughs> um, this is theirs. They, I got them dinosaur eggs, and I'll leave the links for the dinosaur eggs down in the description also. Um, super cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, the next thing I was going to talk to you about were these Hot Wheel color changing things. Um, I was going to show you one of them because uh, we had one that we had done, and... Um, my kid said no, and she put it back in the closet. So I'm just going to talk about it, and then I'll put pictures up here. Um, <laughs> I didn't get a picture of us doing the first one, because um, her and her dad did that one. But the one that me and her did, definitely, I'll show that. Um, so the yellow one turns green and so what it is so this is what it looks like in its packaging okay and don't forget i will put a link for this down below also okay so it's called i was i didn't know what it was called it's called hot wheels color reveal and it has this um if you look at this picture um the uh 
cars are coated in a purple or a blue like stuff I don't know what it's called on the outside and then you like wash them and then you put them in cold water and they're one color and then you put them in hot water and they turn another color and you can just apparently according to the packaging you can go back and forth between the two colors and um we thought this was cool we like cars so um my kid was like yes and the one she did with her dad um it's yellow and it goes to green and um the one we're we're about to do one that um we don't know what it is yet because we haven't we haven't done it and um so i'll show you the pictures here this is when it's cold water this is cold water and this is what it looks like in hot water and um i can't wait to i can't wait to see it myself so yes um that's that's it i will leave the link to the dino eggs and the the unicorn thingy um stump the unicorn stump and along with the uh, hot wheels root color reveal uh in the description don't forget that i am an amazon consultant so when you click on the link and it takes you to the product <laughs> um i get if you buy if you buy the um the product whatever it is whichever whatever you decide to get uh i do get a few pennies and um in soon soon i'm so close um we'll have enough money to get a book or another another toy or something um i'm so excited um and when you do buy i really appreciate it because that's it just it just makes me happy that um you like me enough to use my links you don't have to um but i appreciate it and thank you for watching this video and all my other videos because it shows that you're supporting me and um it makes me happy to know that there are people out there that I'm helping. The whole reason I started this channel was to talk about books and review things that um, nobody else had reviewed or there weren't very many reviews on. Or when I got a product and then I tried it, I was like, what the heck? The person lied. Um, <laughs> and... Yeah, so like this video if you liked if you like knowing about activities, um, and comment below if you've tried either of these and what dinosaur did you get or what animal did you get in your stump? Um, because I want to know. And um, have you played with the color reveal cars yet? Those are so cool. I just they're just so cool. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what else to talk about, so subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you're not sure if you want to subscribe, you can click my face. It'll be down here somewhere, and check out my other videos. I also post things in the community. Bless you. I also post things in my community tab, and um, yeah, so go through and see if I'm someone you want to subscribe to. You don't have to. And share this video because sharing is caring. And if there, there might be someone out there that needs ideas to do with their kids on rainy days or when it's too hot or when it's too cold outside. So here I am. Um, that's all I have to talk about. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.